This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you everyday low prices with no membership fees. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to get $10 off any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike Tiempo Legend 5 in the brand new black and white colorway. Now inside the box, as with all top end Legend 5 models from Nike, a string bag is included. This particular string bag is black in color. You're going to find your white Tiempo branding and Nike swoosh on the front. And then of course the strings on the bag are also white in color. So we'll get that out of the way, get the shoes out of the box. And if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the latest colorway of the Nike Tiempo Legend 5. And if you ask me, this is as of right now, the best looking shoe on the market in this particular colorway. If you ask me to Nike ID a pair of Legends right now, I would probably come up with this exact design. The only kind of colorway variation that I can think of that would look better than this is perhaps if they reversed the, the white area with the black area. So the majority of the shoe to be white and then the instep to be black. But of course, this is just an idea. To me, I like all white shoes a lot, um, but that's not to say that I don't like black shoes either. Like I said, to me, this is the best looking shoe on the market right now in this particular colorway. If you have any thoughts or comments, be sure to leave those down below in the comment section. Do you like this colorway? Do you hate this colorway? Is it just too simple for you? It, or is simplicity what you believe to be the best type of soccer shoe color? way because to me I really really like the look of this shoe now as far as the color goes just to give you guys some more quick details obviously the majority of the upper is black in color you can see that Nike has opted for the shiny finish on the black leather as opposed to the matte finish like we saw on the desert sand color whereas the white leather area has more of a matte finish as you guys can see um, of course you do have the laces the tongue the heel liner as well as the insole are black in color. Your white Nike swoosh on the inside, outside, your black Nike swoosh on the inside, your white Tiempo branding going down the back of the heel. And then of course the sole plate is a combination of white, starts at the heel, goes through the midfoot, and then you have this gradient pattern and it transitions into a black. Overall, very, very good looking shoe. And it isn't often that we see a plain old black and white model from Nike, excluding of course the Nike Premier. Um, now, as far as the overall performance of this shoe goes, if you are looking for more details on that, be sure to check out the full written review on my website linked down below in the description. It will give you lots and lots of details that this video will not give you on the overall performance, such as how these shoes fit and feel. Now, for the sake of the video, we will go over the tech specs. What makes the Legend 5 such an appealing model is, of course, the full kangaroo leather upper, and the quality of the kangaroo leather is really, really nice. It's not nearly as bulky as uh, other kind of more traditionally styled kangaroo leather soccer shoes on the market. And in terms of shoes that are made 100% from kangaroo leather, this is probably the most technically advanced ones on the market, simply because of the overall fit, as well as the inclusion of Hyper Shield technology, which is essentially a Nike skin-esque type of liner on the inside. It removes a lot of layers, and because of that, it makes for a closer touch on the ball, a more natural feel, a more comfortable feel, and also allows the leather upper to dry a lot more quickly, keeping it lighter for longer, um, which is always a very good thing, and a kind of a cool little innovation from Nike. Of course, the upper is also finished with ACC All Conditions Control, allowing for somewhat of a wet control type of element, making for better grip on the ball in all types of weather playing conditions, mainly in wet weather. Um, you do have a central lacing system, as you can see, with a very kind of open forefoot area, free of any kind of laces or something that can alter your touch. So you get a very consistent, natural feel across the entire front of the boot, which is really, really nice. A similar kind of styling to the Ronaldinho uh, Ronaldinho's second edition shoe for those of you guys that can remember that one um, you do have pretty much a standard cut here in the heel an internal plastic heel counter and you can see that the sole plate does have a little bit of a lip here going around the heel so you do get that nice kind of cupped in secure feel when you do pull the laces tight no heel slippage issues or anything like that the heel liner is 100% made from synthetic leather you have a nice perforated material here in the heel and there is plenty of padding so again comfort is not an issue they're pretty comfortable from right out of the box Moving on to the insole, 
Um, it is black in color. You got your Nike swoosh and Tiempo branding there in white on the heel. It's a mesh liner on top, perforations all throughout. It's a fairly dense yellow foam material, so it does provide some really nice impact protection. And then of course you have your pour on inserts in the heel, as well as on the four foot big toe area. So step in comfort again is not an issue with the Legend 5. And for the most part, this is a really, really nice insole that I'm glad they implemented on this particular model. Now moving on to the sole plate and stud pattern it is of course a one piece sole plate made from a relatively flexible TPU plastic material. You have your support beam here running through the middle, just to allow for that little bit of additional stiffness and support running through the midfoot of the sole plate. You also have the Nike free and inspired flex groove right here at the base of the forefoot. Kind of difficult to see in this particular color, um, but it is basically just a very thin kind of flex groove indent in the sole plate itself, which is supposed to make for better flexibility in the forefoot. That remains to be seen. It's not something that you're honestly gonna notice all that much. And then of course you have the new and improved Tiempo Legend stud pattern. You still get your bladed studs in the heel for in total. Uh, eight total conical studs here in the forefoot as you can see two support bladed studs here in the middle that are at a slightly different angle now and your one mercurial-esque stud right here at the tip of the toe along with your split toe design which again just like on the hypervenom phantom really isn't all that noticeable of a feature but i really like the inclusion of this mercurial-esque stud it does make for a significant difference at least a noticeable difference for me when it comes to pushing off for a quick sprint and stuff like that just because you have that little extra stud right at the tip of the toe which is generally the point of uh, push off when you are making a quick acceleration and for the most part this is a very very good stud pattern for use on natural grass plane surfaces um, but that's pretty much it as far as all the tech specs go and to move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are with the release of the Nike Premier, Nike kind of went to town as far as making as many little innovations that they possibly could with the Legend series, which obviously has been around for much longer. And with the Legend 5, we definitely see a lot of innovation, including a weight reduction in the shoe itself without sacrificing comfort or quality. So I definitely have to applaud Nike for that. And I'm actually going to show you guys how light these are on the scale in real time in just a second here. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. We're gonna throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 8.4 ounces, which is very, very lightweight for a kangaroo leather soccer shoe, one that's gonna be this comfortable and provide this good of a touch on the ball. So for the most part, if you're looking for that classic kangaroo leather feel, but don't necessarily want something that's going to weigh you down all that much, the Legend 5 is definitely a very, very solid option. All right, here's a look at the Legend 5s on feet. And in comparison to other traditionally styled kangaroo leather soccer shoes, this boot definitely does have a relatively unique feel. A lot of that is due to the fact that Nike has implemented their X1.1 last from the Hypervenom Phantom onto the Legend 5 model, making for a slightly tighter fit in the forefoot and toe box area, as opposed to just being completely rounded, which is kind of the norm for this style of soccer shoe. Because of that, it does require a little bit more in the way of break-in time, but once the leather has stretched and formed to your foot, after only a couple hours of wear time, the fit is perfect and they are extremely comfortable. The quality of the kangaroo leather is really, really soft from right out of the box. And again, it just makes for a very comfortable feel that you would expect from a more traditionally styled all leather soccer shoe. In terms of width, uh, I would say that this is one of those shoes that's going to fit pretty much most foot types just as long as you don't have excessively wide feet. Of course, you are going to get the stretch from the leather throughout the entire shoe. So if they do feel a little bit snug from right out of the box, just keep in mind that they are going to stretch. In terms of sizing, they do run half a size small, just like the Nike Premier. I had to go up a half size to a 9.5 US, and you can see the fit and the length is perfect, whereas I would normally wear a size 9, as I did with the previous model, the Tiempo Legend 4. But again, these run half a size small. I know that sounds unusual considering that it is a leather shoe that is going to stretch, but that's just how Nike did it. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going half a size up for the best possible fit. All right guys, this is it for my unboxing of the Nike Tiempo Legend 5 in the very nice black and white colorway. 
I am personally a really big fan of this shoe at this point in time. If you ask me right now what is my go-to Nike model, I think it would be the Tiempo Legend 5. The quality of the kangaroo leather is absolutely fantastic. I love the overall fit of the shoe and the Tiempo stud pattern I've always been a fan of, but this is definitely a very nice improvement with the inclusion of that one mercurial stud at the tip of the toe. So again, if you are looking for more information on the overall performance, more details I should say, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, linked down below in the description. There'll be a link directly to that review page. Also on that review page, you will find Buy It Now links with all the best prices online along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, allowing you to pick up this shoe at the lowest possible price. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.